St. Thomas Monastery is probably one of the more unique communities, not only in our province, but in the order. And it's gone through a transformation over the course of the past maybe quarter century. Uh, initially, this was a house that was a faculty house for the people who were involved in the university, whether as professors or in administration. And there were always retirees here. Uh, over the course of time, as that shifted, it became that we had more retirees than we had uh, people engaged in uh, ministry at the university. And so about 25 years ago, we had a desire to reimagine the use of this facility, St. Thomas Monastery. So we began to gut the whole building and to recreate it in a way that we would be able to provide care for our sick and our retired friars. And that's basically what we do today. Uh, this has a threefold purpose. We still have about 45 friars that live in the house and it's pretty equally divided between people who are engaged in teaching or administration on the university level. We have those who are retired and they're still able to be on their own and some engage in some sort of pastoral ministry. And we have those who, because of their illness, are infirmed. Our second floor was re-commissioned as a, as a healthcare facility. And during the course of that time, we were able to provide for 12 to 15 of our friars who need a little more loving care, a little more attention in terms of medical care. Uh, we can't handle every opportunity that comes to us uh, because the needs might be too great for us. But for the most part, we want to be able to provide a communal setting for those who need medical attention. And it's been a great blessing. I've been prior here for almost five years now. And it's been an opportunity to see people being able to be cared for in a communal setting. Uh, they're able to participate in the celebration of the Eucharist and a morning and evening prayer. And as their abilities allow, they come down and they have meals with us. We provide meals on the second floor for those who are not able to. But there's a, a rich camaraderie here that people are able to interact with their peers and to be able to grow old and to be able to be cared for in an environment that is truly loving and truly fraternal. In the course of the time here, we provide for not only medical needs, but we also have uh, social needs as well, uh, because many of our friars here don't drive. We have drivers that will take them to appointments and to errands that they might want to run, and some of our friars help out with that as well. And we have a social director, Father Rich Mullen, who comes over uh, to provide social activities, whether in the house here or from time to time, uh, we'll take some of our friars out to be able to experience a show, uh, a local attraction, or just to go out for lunch or for dinner so that they have a, kind of a different perspective on life. It's been a unique opportunity for me to be able to minister to the friars here and for them to be able to minister to me because I find that I receive much in the way of fraternity from the friars here, many of whom I didn't know originally, but I have gotten to be able to know and love during the course of my time here. And it's been a great experience to be able to see people being able to live in a sense of fraternity and dignity as they age and then there is their infirmity uh, takes greater hold of them that we're able for the most part to provide that loving care that they so rightly are entitled to for the many years that they have served so many people not only in our community but in countless apostolates whether in education whether in pastoral ministry or whether in missionary activity uh, we have people that have been engaged in all of these and more during the course of their active life. And now they're being able to enjoy the reward of a life lived in loving service of the gospel and of the order. 
So we have an opportunity to be able to provide, and we're very grateful to so many of our benefactors who help to provide this way of life for us. Your generosity, your concern, your love, and your support for us enable us to be able to provide this communal experience of aging, of care for the infirmed in a way that we would not be able to otherwise. So on behalf of all of our friars, we want to thank you for the concern and the support you have given us over the years. And we ask and we pray that you might be able to continue that in the future. You're remembered each and every day in our prayer and in our liturgy. And you hold a very special place in all of our hearts. And we want to be able to thank you for that. So we ask, uh, thank you for watching this and we ask that you might be able to uh, have God's blessings in abundance for the generosity that you have shown us now and hopefully in the future. God bless you.